Hello there. Good morning to you all, and welcome to the channel. Today's addiction is. Day 2 of the Zero Gold to a WoW Token Challenge, just how quickly can I do it? So get comfy and enjoy. Before we start, let's have a quick recap. The challenge is to make enough gold to buy and use a WoW game token in the fastest time possible. I am not allowed to send gold from another character, I am not allowed to sell any transmogs, recipes, or battle pets, and everything must be sold on my druid. This is where we left off. Empty bags and bank and 157,000 gold total from day 1, and we could have more gold from overnight sales. Let's check the mail first before we start. Forty-nine thousand six hundred gold from overnight sales, nice. All we need now is 180k gold. So let's get started. The Not Hide Multi Farm in Old Kara. The prices for Not Hide per one is extremely good, but turning them into heavy Not Hide could make you more gold depending on your auction house. They always sell and is why I do this at least once a day if not more. Details on how to run Kara can be found on the channel as with all farms I am using in this challenge. This optimized run has to be one of the fastest ways to obtain not hide leather in game, walking away with over 500 every 10 run lockout and around 30 to 40 fell leathers. Not bad for around 30 minutes work. I am using a quality of life add-on called Scrap It. This little gem will remember what trash and items you have sold in the past and will automatically sell everything for you. You are able to create blacklists stopping the add-on from trashing anything important, but mostly used due to the speed at which you can vendor stuff as you see in the video. Details in the description. I understand why they have a 10 run lockout, still really hate it. Farm 2 is the Borean Leather Multi Farm. The prices on the leathers are pretty good still and turning them into heavy leather again will make you more gold. Just always check your auction house before you do, always compare prices first. At this point I remembered a multi-farm that would be ideal for Borean leather so I decided to go run it. Welcome to the Old Kingdom, located in Dragon Blight within North Rend. This dungeon is amazing for transmogs but also one of the fastest ways to obtain a lot of Borean leather as well as chitin and arctic fur. The run has been optimized to be completed under 3 minutes and can make you some serious gold. Convert all leather to heavy bore in leather, only if the prices are right. Selling the arctic fur and nerubian chitin is just extra gold. Farm 4 is located in Nagran just south of Tela. This farm I will be splitting into two parts. Part A starts here. We are mainly wanting to kill all the void spawns around Oshugun, but first we want to mass murder all the cleft hoofs in the area for their thick hides, which have been selling nicely. The void spawns can drop motes of shadow, using 10 turns them into one primal shadow with a nice price tag. Not the best location for shadow, but this area more than makes up for it with the cleft hoofs. It's just a case of farm and profit, nice and simple. Part B is located to the east of the Ring of Trials. This area is mainly used to farm for cleft hoof hide as there is a lot of them, but you will also gain not hide leather, and motes of air making it a rather tasty multi-farm with some nice profits. I did do a 10 run lockout in Firelands as it's easy profits. I went to the dead mire and farmed some motes of life. Not hide leather and fell scales, then jumped back into Kara for another 30 minute 10 run lockout before heading to the Borean Tundra for more leather. So let's take a look at day 2 profits, just how close are we? The auction house can be slow at the start of the week, let's hope I have chipped away at our target at least.
yes, even I have slow days. No worries at all, as I will smash it come day 3. So that is 0 gold to a WoW token day 2 done, enough said. Thank you so much for watching, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I will catch you on day 3, until then, be safe.